So I'm about to introduce you to a tool. Um, <clears throat> it's like a socket. Just pop it off here. <clears throat> See if you can guess what this is. This is made for. There we go. It's a SP tool. Probably doesn't have a good focus here. Let's see if I can uh, manipulate this camera a little bit. Uh, anyway, SP Tool 91900, made in the USA. Got these little <clears throat> cutouts on there. It's like two different sizes. You got a larger size, smaller size. Um, <clears throat> three inch drive. It's just a standard three inch drive. All right, cool. So <clears throat> it's a case of me about to. <clears throat> drain my radiator and um, well I already got it going but these things the Pepcot I believe that's what they're called it's just that little flange right there they're sometimes a little bit more A little bit more stuck especially if they haven't been removed so this thing just pretty much fits over this little thing obviously you should be able to get it by hand but sometimes it helps it doesn't help that I'm just trying to put this on there with one there we go so hopefully that's tightening, huh? Anyway, this is uh, becoming slightly cumbersome here. It should be pretty easy. I got it going already. There we go. So eventually you'll see fluid start flowing. I mean, yeah, I could get it by hand right now. It's more cumbersome, but I'm just trying to show you that this thing actually works. You gotta be careful because that thing is made of plastic. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely tightening that thing. Fuck. All right, gotta switch hands. All right, I think this might be better. Get it on there. All right, I'm on doing it. I got a hose hooked up to mine just so it doesn't splash. Um, clearly, like I said, I could get it by hand. And I'll kind of zoom in for, for effects, I guess. But I could clearly get it by hand, but there we go. So it's just a ratchet. You could, in theory, cut a socket. see fluid is starting to flow down I'm not certain if this thing comes all the way out I don't want to find out especially with my face under here so whenever it's whenever I'm done draining this radiator I'm actually gonna see if that thing actually comes all the way out because um, especially if you drain your stuff while it's warm um, and you're down here you could be in for a whirl of hurt so I'm gonna pop up stop and open the cap so it flows faster. The radiator is cool, the engine coolant. So I'm just gonna pop it open. should increase the flow with that air pressure. Well, you can just see it going all the way down. So, yeah, you can see it definitely. 
the tube is filled up. You can see the this thing is flowing out, not creating a mess. So that's definitely the way to do it. This is a tube I came from um crappy Harbor Freight little vacuum thing. Um, so I'm gonna drain this radiator. I'm gonna put, um, looks like it's done. Well, that's definitely not done. Definitely has a lot more fluid than that. So we'll let it keep draining and we'll get the tools we need to, to vacuum out the air. But yeah, the point of this video is that they make a tool for that. The radiator pepcock tool, I guess, I don't know. There we go. But you just gotta be mindful that those things are, um, are plastic and making sure that you're going in the right direction as far as loosening. Anyway, let me honestly like I hate the thing.